Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. Yes, I'm gonna wipe my nose because if you haven't noticed elsewhere on social media, uh, Rach and I, well, Rach tested positive for COVID, likely Omicron, uh, yesterday, and uh, uh, I've been sneezing since Wednesday. I don't sneeze, so. If you see me suddenly, like, try to hit the mute button and my whole face gets obscured behind a tissue, uh, I'm I am missed, I'm in the midst of the world of COVID, and I always tell you how to – What I, my suggestions every time are not telling you what to do, but use your common sense. Well, um, we've used our common sense, but uh, Omicron is, like, uh, everywhere. Actually, just before I logged in to uh, do this, it apparently closed down the – the local pub uh, by our at my parents' place up in the Poconos, which uh, they had a big New Year's Eve bash planned, and now they uh, closed earlier today. But it was going to be over by ten o'clock. <laughs> it was going. Well, all right. I'll pick you up by ten. Yeah. <laughs> they don't. They don't stay open to midnight, but that's for after. Oh, uh, well, um, that's for the special people. I don't know about that, but <laughs> in any case, they're not. I think they're closed through the fourth. Maybe closed uh, five days. So yes, Omicron is here. So Rachel and I are, uh, go- and we listen. We we did a self test at home because we were going to go down to our local pub for dinner yesterday. And Rachel's like, "Hey, you know, we've been feeling run down today, and you know, last night you start sneezing. I start getting this headache, and tinnitus is winning. I'm like, so I humored her. I humored her. I'm like, yeah, let's do a self test. Like, oh shit. Well, the good news is you're not pregnant, but the bad news is it is. It is COVID, and uh, from the lack of strong symptoms, uh, I will safely say it is Omicron. Now, did I test? No. We've got one left. One, no, we got two tests left in the house. But I'm trying we to... We didn't know that at the time. Yeah, we only have one. But uh, we are... It's like, why... It, it, Rach and I... Listen. Uh, no secrets. We share a bit. Okay. Um, if she has it, I have it. You know, it, it's a true marriage. We like to share everything. And when it comes to Omicron, who's gonna who's gonna play with that in her own? So, but today is the last cast of 2021. Now I know there were some inquiries. Are you gonna do a live stream with Glenn? Glenn and I do the first and third uh, Friday of every month. Uh, <coughs> Joe and I do the second and fourth. Usually the fifth is up in the air. Uh, so it's not a guarantee that we're going to do anything, but I figured between uh, fifth sat fifth Saturday, uh, New Year's Eve, and Omicron, uh, no, I think I, I figured I would do a short. I, I didn't think I'd be. Able to, I slept like twelve and a half hours, including my nap this afternoon. I'll probably do the same tomorrow. So a little bit of a twenty twenty one in review. I will uh, be the first to say that, yes, 2021 was a new TSR 3, whatever you want to call it, TSR fiasco uh, heavy. It was a lot of stuff in the news, but as was other stuff. Gary Khan made the news a number of times. A lot of things that were, were convention related because of COVID made the news. Um, Wonderfilled, not, not like Wonder Bread. And apparently not able to spell their own website correctly on their website when they first put it up. But Wonderfield has often made the news. But this has also been a good year as um, games like Arduin fully came to my attention. And I've been sharing stuff on Arduin at least once a week now for a couple months. So I think 2021 has been pretty good for this channel. We started the year at under 500 subscribers. We got 500 by the end of North Texas in June. I believe around the end of the summer, we surpassed 1,000, or or at least early fall. And then uh, now we're over 1,100. So what would people like, well, what do you want to see in 2022? Whatever you guys want to give us. I'd like to see us hit 2,000. I'd like to see us hit 1,500. 1,500, I'll do another giveaway. I'll give away another, I don't know, $500 in Arpino certificates or such. 
uh, two random viewers as they watch us live on our live streams because it's fun. It's your money anyway. So um, in the comments section, and if, and if you want to say, please, less TSR, I, dude, I'm going to ask you, what do you want to see in 2022? And what I want to see in 2022 is less TSR. But just like Wizards of the Coast steps on the dick, usually at least once a season, Paizo does about the same. Uh, TSR is about at least once a month, sometimes more. If they can stop, if it's that... holidays, often more. Well, on the holidays is like when they when they like to troll because they figure we can troll on a holiday and no, uh, mm -hmm. Tenkar will not be around or so and so will not be around to respond. So um, I would really like to say, I myself, Bad Mike, Joe, Rach, Glenn, we want to address topics that you want to see addressed. Okay. Leave your suggestions. Um, if you want things that you want me to investigate, um, I know I can be a pain in the ass. I, I can be a hound dog when I get a topic that really interests me and somebody threatens me with legal action for checking it out. Um, it becomes a good focus. But not everything is like that. Not everything. Uh, true. Not everything is not like that. It has to be. And not all exactly, and all it has to be. But there's things that I could overlook. Maybe there's stuff going on in the hobby that has not been on my radar. Maybe you want to direct me to it. Um, maybe I'll leave a voicemail. Maybe it's going to be a voicemail uh, at three four seven five zero nine five one six eight. Maybe you want to reach out on Anchor. Maybe I don't know we, we were addressing Anchor again. Thank God, Anchor has fixed their uploading process of videos. Ah, Monte de Mio was bad for a couple of months. Uh, we are relatively up to date. I appreciate you, whether you're watching the videos, whether you're listening on Anchor or another podcast server. Uh, listen, you're, you're the audience. You are the community. This is why we do what we do. Oh, you know what upsets me the most this year in 2021? That YouTube did away with the dislike count. Because I would like to be able to show uh, certain individuals, certain communities that we get very few dislikes. Even the vo even when we get the vocal voices trolling us, it's a few dislikes. Why? Because I back things up with screenshots and websites. That's the way you do it. That's the way I was trained as an investigator when I was on the job in the NYPD as a sergeant, supervising investigators. Um, you have to have evidence. And then, and then from the evidence, you can make you can draw conclusions. Maybe you can even go as far as assumptions or, or go to theories. But you can only do so with evidence. You just don't pull things out of your ass. So that's why you see a lot of screenshots on this channel. You see a lot of uh, websites linked and put into their share screen. It's because visual evidence is some of the best evidence. Um, audio evidence is great, too. But... There's less of that. This is the internet. Internet is a very visual medium. But I, I listen, I got to thank you all. 2021 was highly successful for this channel, and that's because of you. Whether you subscribe or don't, I'd love it if you would subscribe. Um, but you, as a viewer, as a listener, you make this channel what it is. The live streams are as amazing as they are because of the interaction between us and the community. So again, I can't thank you all enough. You are all many levels of awesome. 2022 is the year of you. All right? So you can email me at tankcars.tavern at gmail.com and say, hey, I'd like to see you cover X, Y, and Z. If you have topics that you maybe you think Joe and I or uh, Gwen and I should cover, let us know. If there's things you want Rachel and I to cover for Gamers Health, give us a message, a voicemail, an email, a message on one of the uh, videos. It all works. This is your channel. All right? Without you being part of it, it's going to be a lot less than it could be. Simple as that. 2022. I'm going to come out of the, well, I got COVID. Am I going to come out of the gates uh, charging? Maybe not. Maybe stumbling. Maybe okay. half asleep. Again, I slept well over two hours today. 12 hours today. Holy shit. Um, I got a little gravel in my throat, <clears throat> but I haven't sneezed. And uh, we're nearly 10 minutes in. Holy shit. So, 
on that note, folks, as always, I've mentioned COVID. I happen to be vaxxed and boosted as a great, <laughs> and we still got the fucking beast. Okay. Is it is it knocking me out? No. Is it putting me on my ass where it's my ass is dragging? I don't want to do anything. Exactly. Uh, have I had worse colds? Yes, but not ones that make me this tired. So mm, a little bit worse in some ways, but not as worse in others. Um, but all I ask, use your common sense. I'm not saying you need to get faxed. I'm not saying don't get faxed. I'm not saying wear a mask. I'm not saying don't wear a mask. What I'm saying is COVID is real. Um, how bad is it depends on the variant that you're looking at. And you should be guided by medical professionals that know your medical history and that you trust and make decisions accordingly. That's what I'm saying. The power is on you. The authority is on you. Um, be safe. Be well. God bless each and every one of you. I can do this because I was ordained on the internet many years ago. Uh, and uh, God willing, Rich and I, probably a live stream tomorrow, but if not, we'll put up an episode pre-recorded. We'll see how we feel. And uh, have a great New Year's Eve. Have a wonderful, blessed 2022. And uh, we'll see how I am in Rachel is tomorrow. Hey. And listen, it could be worse. You know, instead of COVID, I, I could be uh, struck with an illness called, like, you know, I don't know, new TSR. And that could be, like, terminal, at least for my brain cells. All right, folks. On that note, latest.